Welcome to Tube Time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Right, okay. Time for another unboxing. This package arrived while I was on the bog. Anyway, this video should look and sound a bit better than my previous videos because A. I'm using a brand new microphone preamp that I made. B. I'm going to turn down the low frequencies when I edit the video because for some reason in some of my videos I sound like this and it really bothers me. So hopefully I should sound like me this time. Also I'm going to try uploading this at 60 frames per second and see if this new YouTube player plays it that way. Anyway, I think I know what's in this, so let's get into a little unboxing here. And I'll make sure I haven't got any names showing this time. Like I did in my previous video, in the previous unboxing. Which I had to edit about 1700 times, and every time I uploaded it, I found there was something I missed. So I just thought, Duck it. Anyway. Ow. And I've just stabbed myself with my scissors. That was not very not a very good thing to do. Also, I have absolutely no idea what this means on the cat if you can see it on the camera there. Right, well, let's take a look inside. There's a little message. I will just open this off camera to make sure there's. Just want to make sure there's no addresses or anything on this. Let's take a little look at this. Let's see what we've got in here. Twelve volt tubes. I got something I'm gonna do with those. And a few others, I'm not going to bother reading it out, you can read it yourself. Please put to use on tube time, I certainly will. So, let's have a look inside, nicely packed. That serious business. You sent one of those in my previous tube time videos. Okay, and we've got one little package there. More packing, let's get that out the way. And let's just remove that so we know what we got here. Okay. We'll have a look in those in a minute. I know what's in here, but first let's just open that up. So for those of you who didn't see the previous tube time video, which is still up on YouTube, there's the other serious business tube. The other one's in the shed, where it's nice and safe, along with a lot of the other ones. So I'll pair this up with the other one I've got and make a nice little push-pull amplifier. Anyway, we've got some 6Q5Gs. These look kind of interesting. I have to have a look at the data sheet on these and see what they actually are. Actually, it's in the message here, so let's see what they are. 6Q5G, there we are. It's a thylotron tube for oscillation in sweep cir circuits, apparently. Looks like I got three of these. Have a look at those later on. Now these should be the 12 volt tubes. Oh, splash the camera there. That's not going to be very good for it. holding these together. I if I was holding it in the camera. Oh, 
here we are. I've got a PCL86. Now, I know this isn't on the 12 volt tubes. Let's take a little look at it anyway. That's a lot like this one here, which is the the one on the right is the clone, and the one on the left is the PCL86. So, in a future video, I might do a comparison of these two and see which one actually sounds better. And these should be the 12 volt tubes. By 12 volt tubes, I mean you can actually power these on 12 volts and still make them do something. It's going to be a pretty interesting experiment. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build up a circuit using one of these. And we'll see how well it works. So that's a 12 EC8. I've got a 12A7 here, apparently. Let's see what's inside this one. It would help if I was holding it in the camera. Looks about the same. Well, it did look about the same. Have to have a look at the data sheets of some of these and see what they actually are. Let's see, 12A7 double triode for 12 volts. Hey, maybe I could make a preamp out of one of these. 12 volt tube preamp that might be interesting let's see we've got 12k5 let's see what this one is i think this one uses a smaller pin base let's just see if that will fit into one of these small sockets it certainly looks like it does oh yes look at that it's absolutely perfect fit now let's see what is this I've forgotten what I just unboxed now. 12K5. 12 volt tetrode. Alright, let's just put him back in his box. Oh, got the packaging. And finally, let's see what we got here. 12AL8. So this is the 12AL8. Let's take a look at this one. If I can find out how to open it, of course. And here we are. It's going to be very interesting to build up some 12 volt tube circuits and see how well they work. So, what's this big mess of wires you can see? Well, this is my preamp, my microphone preamp. Anyway, I'm not going to touch anything in this because I'm likely to get a 12 volt, I mean a 260 volt shock because it uses an ECC83 to do the actual microphone amplification. And there is some 12 volt stuff in here. We've got a regulator in the corner. I don't know where I'm pointing the camera at the moment. Hopefully I'm pointing it in the right place. That powers up the filament and also this little circuit here for the, the compressor. Whether I, talk close to, whether I talk close to the microphone or far away from the microphone, that little circuit's going to level things out. Well, I thought it'd be a bit rude not to build something before I leave the video. So here is that, um, what is it now, 12AL8. Just to see how much power I can get out of it. That's about as loud as I can get it before it starts to seriously distort and become unlistenable. a little better if I used a more suitable transformer but that's about the best I could find for the time being. Anyway, 
Oh, the song's ending. I'll just stop that. Here's the schematic. For those of you interested, so you can see, I was not lying. It's 12 volts. Alright. Just to show that I'm not joking, let's just put this on for the B+. Plus. You can see, hopefully, okay, it's a little bit over what it should be. Just back that down a little. There we go. 12 volts. Can you see that, hopefully? There we go, you can see it now. So I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Maybe if I used a much better suited output transformer, I might be able to get a little bit more out of it. Now with just 12 volts, I wasn't expecting window shattering loudness anyway. While I'm still doing crazy experiments, I decided to omit the transformer, use a resistor to connect the B plus to the anode, and connect the speaker there through this capacitor and the results well I was just curious as to what it would do yeah I can honestly say it was better with the transformer anyway that's just about it for this video and thanks for sending the stuff and Anyway, I'm going to go now and work on a serious business amplifier. Hopefully, should be able to shatter a window or two. Can you see the meter? No matter where I put the meter, it seems to glare. I decided to omit the transformer. Put a resistor in their place instead. I can't think. Okay, before we get on with the unboxing... <coughs> I just gotta clear my throat. Anyway, I'm just going to move it a little bit closer. Closer and closer. 